Every year, families around the globe embrace the joy of the holiday season by setting up a Christmas tree. The tradition varies across cultures, but its universal appeal is undeniable. Today, we travel back in time to explore the origins of this beloved tradition. The roots of the modern Christmas tree stretch back hundreds of years. Some say the tradition began with Martin Luther, a 16th century Protestant reformer, who is believed to have been the first to decorate an evergreen tree with candles. From there, the tradition blossomed, evolving into the practice we know today. However, some theories suggest the origins of the Christmas tree tradition may be even older, tracing back to medieval mystery plays featuring the Tree of Paradise, adorned with apples and wafers. Others believe the practice has links to ancient Egyptian, pagan, Chinese, and Hebrew traditions, where tree worship was common. Despite its ancient roots, the tradition of decorating full trees at home during the holiday season didn't gain widespread popularity until the 19th century. The practice was adopted by European nobility and started to spread thanks to German-born Queen Charlotte, who introduced the Christmas tree at a party for noble children. The advent of artificial Christmas trees revolutionized the tradition, making it more accessible and popular. The earliest artificial trees, originating from Germany, were either wooden sculptures or feathered creations dyed green. These early artificial trees ranged in size and became popular in the late 19th century. Among these artificial trees, one stands out for its longevity. A 14-inch tall tree made of green raffia has been part of Paul Parker's family tradition since 1886. This cherished ornament was first purchased by Paul's great-grandmother and has been passed down through generations. For Paul, this tree is more than just an ornament. It's a symbol of family tradition and cherished memories. His mother treasured this ornament and carefully stored it away each year. After her passing in 2008, Paul proudly took over the tradition. Christie's Auction House in London and the Guinness Book of World Records have both confirmed the age and rarity of Paul's tree, declaring it the oldest Christmas tree still in use. But for Paul and his family, the tree is more than just a record-breaking relic. It's a tangible link to their past and a tradition to pass on to future generations. Whether you celebrate the holiday season with a Christmas tree or not, it's a time for making memories and enjoying what life has to offer. For some, like Paul, these memories are encapsulated in a physical object passed down through generations. For others, they live in photos and shared experiences. But no matter how you celebrate, the holiday season is a time of joy and togetherness. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.